All right, guess where we are at? The Japanese supermarket. It's official. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Eric Surf Six, and welcome to another edition of Eric Meal Time. Let's start with the salad. Got to eat something healthy here first. This is a tofu burdock root salad, and I think this is kudage, maybe jellyfish. I'm not sure what this one is. Let's see. Let's go in for a, a bite. Oh, yummy! It's got mushrooms in it too. Oh, this is tofu right here. A tofu salad. It's got greens in it. Mm. All this for about two bucks. And my favorite, the burdock root. Nice mushrooms. Oh, I like these mushrooms. I think these are in season. Next up is the soba set. So what you need to do here is prepare the sauce. The straight suyu sauce goes in. Just a little bit of the water to weaken it. Last is the wasabi. Oh yeah. And then you mix it up. Mix her up. Just like that. Now this, I'm not sure if you if you put the onions inside here, the sauce, or if you put it on top of the noodles, but for color, I'm gonna put it on the noodles just so that you can see it. Okay, and as well as these, this is the, uh, the tempura coating. Put that on top too. Yeah, here goes. Soba time. <laughs> oh yeah, I can smell the wasabi. Mm. Not too bad. That's tasty. Ah, it is tasty. Soba is definitely my favorite noodles. Definitely. Cold or hot, doesn't matter. Always delicious. And this sauce is really nice. Gives it a lot of flavor. And the hint of wasabi is also good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yeah, so here we go. The next item is the. What does it say here? This is a minced katsu sandwich. It's discounted, so the price is about 80 cents. Oh, it's only half. It's a half a minced katsu. A <laughs> little bit of soggy lettuce there. <laughs> All right, here we go. Wow, it's really meaty. And it's just smothered in sauce, tangy sauce. Oh. For 80 cents, it's a bargain. One more bite. Next up is the egg, bacon, and asparagus roll. <laughs> Should be interesting. It's the asparagus hanging out there. Give you a closer look. Very interesting. tasting the asparagus. Asparagus sandwich. This is a first. The price for this is about a dollar and a half. And it's good. The bread is really nice. It's uh, it's very moist, baked, so soft on the inside, kind of hard, a little bit harder on the outside, but mostly soft. Tastes like it's got butter on it. 
And the egg is, is pretty nice too. It's more, it's more like an egg salad. So I think it's got some mayonnaise in it. The bacon, I'm not really tasting at all. Mmm, I need some napkins. Let's try one of these oranges next, shall we? Oranges, oranges. Oranges are really perfect in Japan because they don't have seeds, or mikans they're called. And these are the larger size. They come in medium and small too, but easy to peel and you can just eat the whole thing. There's no seeds. Sweet. Yeah, this one's really sweet. I prefer them a bit more tart, but the Japanese like them sweet. Not bad. So it's really two things with oranges. Being able to peel it without getting juice all over you and then having no seeds two huge bonuses to eating oranges. Mm. And the last item, here it is. Can you guys read that? It says, Kinoko no Yama. Yeah, so chocolate covered mushrooms, yum. They're not really mushrooms though. They're like cookies shaped as mushrooms. So package inside a package. Japan loves to do that. Packaging inside of packaging. Finally, you get to the goods. So, oh, yep, there they are. Chocolatey goodness. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Milk chocolate and a cookie. Mm hmm. Yum. Oh. Wow, this is good. So good. Oh. <laughs> Can't stop. <laughs> Oh, mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I would go so far as to say these are my favorite sweets in Japan. I love these things. I don't eat them that often, but they're really, really good. The total cost for this meal was 1,436 yen. That's about $11. And I've still got lots of oranges left over to eat. Yep. So I'd like to rate this meal now on my Eric Mealtime scale of six. I'm going to give it a total of five stars or five Eric heads. That's right, it's a gnome gnome. Lots of variety of ready to eat foods in Japanese supermarkets. You can definitely make a meal out of it without having to cook anything. So when you're on the go, yeah, definitely I would recommend it. Right up there with the convenience stores. But I think you might have a little bit more selection at the supermarkets. So definitely check out a supermarket once in a while if you're in Japan uh, and you wanna eat something quick. Yep. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I always look forward to reading your comments down below. So we'll see you in the next one. Later. Later.